Good morning and welcome to Daily Rants here on New Day. My name is George Quinn. We are live on DSTV channel 279. This morning, we are talking about the financial sector cleanup. The very first one was in August 2017. which saw UT Bank and Capital Bank going down. Subsequently, five other local banks have followed suit and uh, the microfinance sector has also had a fair share where over 340 companies had their licenses revoked. The latest is that of the savings and loan sector where 23 insolvent companies have had their licenses revoked including that of GN savings and loans and the revocation has become necessary because these companies have no hope of being recapitalized uh, given their period by the central bank and according to the central bank the move is to restore confidence in the banking sector two years on has that confidence been restored this is daily rant let's keep talking how can you just wait till this time before taking these actions who, who, who gave them the license first were they what, what capability were they having before they were allowed to operate for that many years, three, four, five years. Some have even worked for 10 years or so. Some, are, I'm sure some have even been in operation for like 10 years till now, before the banking sector taking decision. I think first, first, government must start, must start the cleanup at the Bank of Ghana. The Bank of Ghana need to clean itself first. The, the, the main regulator. Yes, the main regulator need to clean itself first before taking these actions. Because we were here in Ghana yeah, 10 years ago, 2009 or so, when Obama came and told us what, what? Obama came and told us what we should what? We need to build institutions, but not men. But it seems we, we, we just want to, to, to create great men. The institutions are not working. How could a financial sector be in operation for five years, three years, ten years, then you're not take this decision? My worry is not the alliance being revoked, but my worry is the individual who works at the institution. You know, now things are very difficult. And as a young person who has graduated from maybe SHS or something, because most of them are SHS graduates who go around to take those monies and then back the commission. Yeah. yeah. So if these, these things are done, what are the requirements that what are the things that they've 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 put in together for those that are working for those institutions because i heard um the governor is saying that they will they will, they will, they will find ways to make um, those that have lost their job to get something to do so that's what i'll be so much concerned with let's look at the personalities involved you have Hindu. Uh, in the well, why, why the decision to look at personalities? Yes, because uh, to, for you, to, uh, for the bank to, or the Bank of Ghana to revoke a uh, license from, uh, let's say, Margaret Afeni Dazi, uh, the, let's say, the founder of Aglo, and then uh, Indum. It's not, it's not, this, these, are, these names are not. So it tells you that BOJ is no respecter of person. The goal for you when it's, it's not good. So I believe that, that would allay fears and say, okay, we are not looking after personalities. If it's not good, it's not good. For you, you are looking at that side. For me, I think that, see, are they, what are they trying to do? What, what are they trying to do? Are they trying to prove a point? Is, 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 let's say it's the government, because at the end of the day, you blame it on the government, because it's the government who has the final say. Is the government trying to punish these individuals? Or... What wrong? But good. Because I see no reason why we should revoke the analysis and other others. Was no, but Mali, it's it according to in you know, pursuant of the Central Banks Act 2016, Act 930. If they think uh, a bank or maybe a financial institution is insolvent, they'll revoke the license. What happened to GM Bank? GM Bank, we were here, they said they their threshold, they couldn't meet their capital threshold, so they go their allowances, right? And they said, okay, then let's let's go, let, let them do what? Service and loan. So I asked myself, if you know that GM Bank has no those requirements, why then do you say you should go into uh, service and loan? Knowing very well. Because they couldn't meet their capital requirement, their 400 million. Meaning that, meaning that, then they, they, they met the requirement for the service and loan. Mm -hmm. So why revoke, revoke the analysis? See, Indum is not mere a person, you understand? He has, he has empire of businesses. And people work in, in that biz, those business, like those uh, uh, establishments. He has hotels, he has football club, he has uh, radio stations, uh, television stations. You know, a lot of them, and people work 
in these institutions, even the GN Bank and uh, service alone. So if you look his lances, you understand what are you trying to do? You are not creating the job. Now you are collapsing more. Okay, okay but, but you guys look at IMF. IMF says the cleanup is timely and appropriate. So if you know a bigger force like that is saying you it's see, even lauding this cleanup, you, you, you small small people. You see, you see, you see, you see sometimes people not get it. You see sometimes uh, me what I've come to realize is that politics is killing this country, and it's killing this country faster than ever before. You understand? Now whether the right thing is being done mm -hmm. or the wrong thing is being done, we politicize it and then make it something else, and then education wise. If something is going to be done in this country, we, the normal Ghanaians walking around, the education doesn't go down well to us. And then sometimes, you, you know, the thing happens and you ask yourself, ah, we could see Dabena, Sanyama, we used to see So we don't, we, we, are, we are, like I said, we are clueless of everything. It but happens before see, we realize, ah, I mean, so this thing could happen. So, I mean, listen, see, me, my worry, eh, it's about the clean, revoking the lances. One, the bank. The bank, so the people who have lost their jobs in thousands. What does the bank of We are restoring confidence in the banking no, no, sector. No. No. About, we are restoring it. confidence. How many, how many local banks do you have now? The local banks who suppose who supports the uh, the local contractor is gone. The bank is gone. How do you expect the local contractor to get money to finish your roads? See, those people. Mali, Mali, I'm coming. No, hey, look, Gavin, if, if, if you're a poultry farmer and you have, let's say, 100 beds, and let's say out of the hundred beds, you have to see that have like this sort of diseases, yeah. and it's contagious. Would you let them, you know, be in the midst of the hundred? No, I will not let them. You but, no, okay? But you? I'll try to find a solution to those beds. What solution is that? Uh, by vaccinating them, by giving them medicine to, to for them to survive. Those people that that lost their jobs uh, through the uh, the collapse of the banks. You ask me, ask me, how many people have gotten jobs? I know one man who is starting to pork business and I think he's and raking a lot of money. Into bank, into pork. Imagine ah, just you've you gone to school. No, manager. it's not about, no, no, that is not no, what you should know also overrule the fact that, that some have been employed by CBG. You know, there are, some are still working in CBG. Many people, how many people are employed by CBG? And how many people were collapsed by the same CBG? Were, were served by the same uh, CBG? Hey, man, don't you think it's time for maybe the youth to look out to this entrepreneurship are, skills? Like, I said, start something on your own. You see, you see first, you have to first, echo, first, you have to change your curriculum in schools because without that, you all think that go to school, finish, find a job, do your job, and go and find something. If, if IMF says is the cleanup is timely, who are you to say? You, well, who, what, what is that? So you see, we have, we have, we have that we have, we have been we have been brainwashed to believe that the IMF wants our good. That's a lie. The IMF is not there to build our country for us. We have to we build our nation ourselves. Now, first, let me let me let me draw back a little bit. Now, when the the seven banks were stood that were collapsed, yeah. it was done by the Bank of Ghana to, to restore confidence, right? That was like two years ago. Now, let's ask ourselves: Has the confidence been restored? Do customers now do Ghanaians now believe in our banks? They don't. No. So, what what justification do you have to collapse? Do you have a bank account? I have. So I was, I was expecting you to tell me I've, I've closed they are my dormant. account. They are dormant. They, have three, they are dormant. They are dormant. Because more money is, is at least. But I, also, I trust, I trust this, this time, this time, I think people are buying more susu boxes no, and then to keep their money. Saving, <laughs> people are saving their money on, 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 on their wallets. They even have banks on MTN. MTN. MTN have banks. So people store their money on their wallets. Me walking to a bank. To go and put my money. I, I feel like it's a, it's a waste of time. Even if I need it, I have to go and queue again. When the, the banks were many, you know, people come to our doorsteps and come for our money. You'll be getting interest too. Oh. Ah, it's not about uh, even more money yeah. gives interest. Ego, see, they bring the casano. See, whatever they are doing, whatever they are doing to Afenedazi, uh, Indum, there are people that we know. You understand? From others, we don't know the faces behind those. Uh, so why won't you fight for the others? If uh, Afen, you are talking for Afeni and then Indum, you what about the 21? If you are doing this uh, to the known faces, the businessmen that we know that we can look up to, you understand? You say, ah, these are Ghanaians and they've made it. We can also make it. You are collapsing them. How much will we? Look, in, in Ghana, in Ghana, the first cleanup was in August 2017. That was UT and then Capital. 
restore uh, confidence. And where is the confidence now? To restore confidence, where is the confidence? Alice, Alice, I know few people who, 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 who are okay about it. Where do you back? Okay. I don't know. No, where do you back? No, it'll be, it'll be you have to tell it'll us. be advertisement what? for the company. I won't do that. One of my bags. I'll tell you backstage. One of my bags was collapsed. You understand? And it was merged to that C, G, what, what, what. Don't you see a let? Don't you get a let? I'll need thousand Ghana eh, for medical B. I cannot get it. Believe me. I want to get ten thousand Ghana. Ah, no, no, ah, do, do banks run charity now? Do banks run charity now? No. Do they do our no. money? For my, my money. I went for my money. Oh, okay, okay, I get it. You understand? Thousand Ghana. I couldn't get I couldn't get it. I was told that, oh, system, system. What, what, what? But I'll get only uh, five hundred. Where uh, I should come tomorrow. Look at this. According to the central bank, uh, actions like this is to restore confidence. We've been talking about it, all right. But I just want to know, uh, you know, percentage-wise, do you think that confidence has been restored? Con percentage-wise? Percentage Give me your percentage, yeah. No, 20%. Just 20% confidence has been restored. But I'll still go back. I said the central bank itself needs to regulate itself. And the regulator needs to regulate itself first before trying to regulate the microfinances. Echo, I don't think I have any percentage in mind because I mean I don't know. But you think of, some sort of confidence has been restored? They've re restored. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, confidence. What's that? Percentage? I just give you percentage. What's that? No, no percentage. Everybody is keeping. Me, for instance, I don't like going to the banking hall. But that's why there's an ATM, there's checkbook yes. and all that. Me, I don't like going to the banking hall because it looks irritating. It's something else. And you the go, stress and we don't want stress. Go to the, you, you, go, you go for your own money and you are like, ah, maybe the music, you... But follow the formalities. You, we can't just go. Anybody you, can you, assume. You it. gladly take the money. Percentage-wise, yeah. <laughs> Percentage-wise. Echo, honestly, to be honest with you, see, nobody has confidence in, uh, in this country's financial system. And the money is still sleeping at the bank. Yes. I'll go for it. But I know that people are keeping their monies in their rooms. People are keeping their monies in their, on their wallets, on their phones. People are keeping their monies wherever they choose to keep it instead of going to the bank. I think that the financial system here in Ghana have collapsed. Well, so these are interesting views from the public here. And uh, BOG's intention to restore confidence with that cleanup exercise uh, doesn't really sit well with them. And for them, there's no confidence that has been restored. And I know you're watching, you want to also chip in one or two, just log on to our social media platforms. On Facebook, it's TV3 Ghana. And on Twitter, it's a new TV3. It came to you from Nima, Bawasa. Thanks for watching. Have a good morning.